In this video we're going to look at determining wind direction on the water, taxiing in the step, climbing onto the step, turns on the step and performing single float takeoffs. If we're on the water, to determine wind direction we can just leave the engine off and the aircraft will orient itself into the wind. And if we're airborne, we can look for the direction of the waves and they will be travelling with the wind. There's four ways to taxi a seaplane. There's idling, ploughing, step taxiing and sailing. Idling is the most common form of taxiing using low power, while ploughing involves increasing power and pulling the stick all the way back. This raises the nose and prevents prop damage and is generally used during rough weather or high wind situations. The step is the point where the aircraft is no longer pushing itself through the water, but is instead riding along the water surface with minimal resistance. Being able to keep yourself on the step is an important skill to develop. Taxiing on the step involves the same process as a takeoff, but what you do is once you're on the step, you reduce power, and by doing this, you prevent taking off and will remain on the step. Maintaining the step is an important skill because it can allow you to take off from a curved path. So we'll have a look at taxiing on the step, performing turns on the step, and how to utilize the step for a one float takeoff. We're going to taxi on the step, so we do the same as a takeoff. We do full power with full back pressure. As we start accelerating, we bring the nose down, which will change the uh, center of pressure for water along the floats. Now, still accelerating on the water here, and um, as we bring the nose down, we're going to get even faster. But we want to prevent the takeoff, so we start reducing power a little bit. And then basically it becomes a little juggling act between power and um, pitch. You basically can maintain this um, state for as long as you want. But for now, I've placed myself on this bendy river, so we can do some turns while maintaining the step. Performing turns on the step is pretty much what you would expect. Um, you just apply a little bit of rudder along with some aileron if you need to. A quick technique to use to get used to performing these sort of turns while um, maintaining this step is you can actually go onto a lake somewhere and um, you can perform figure eights as a practice. Okay, that's just some simple turning while on the step. Um, we can look at something more complicated now, which is a lot harder to maintain. Up ahead here, we have a sharp bend in the river. So what we're going to do is, in addition to the rudder, we're going to apply some extra aileron into it, which will actually bring our float off the water. This will allow us to perform a sharper turning circle. So we'll start rolling right a little bit. And the float's off the water. Now we can just maintain this attitude as we go through the turn. And then when we're ready, we can just plop the float back down and we'll be good to keep going. Performing that one float turn can be a bit difficult because you've actually reduced the total water resistance on the floats, um, which can make you accelerate faster and take off accidentally. And this is the principle we're going to make use of after the next turn. If you're worried about your wing striking the water, you can actually roll it much less and still get the same sort of effect, but the turn just won't be as tight. Okay, we're coming up to the final turn here. So I'll make another sharp right hand turn on one float. And then we'll conclude with a single float takeoff, which is useful to do if you can't get on the step in normal conditions. Okay, so we'll bring it around to the right, and we'll roll a bit, bring it over, and then we just hold it right here, make it a bit steeper so we don't run aground, and then we can drop it. Now we don't want to take off into the bridge, so we'll start applying full power. And then we can keep it on the step as we go under. So now we can roll right to get that float off the water, accelerate further, and then we get airborne. 